I'm a first grade teacher at Aranjan Elementary. I teach eighth grade English here at Kiwana Middle School. I am the principal of Shadokan Elementary School. I'm a Renda Phys Ed teacher. I teach social studies at High School East. Hi, I'm a special education teacher. conference with your lead evaluator is a great opportunity for you to showcase the artifacts you have collected for domains 4B through 4F. Remember, quality is much more important than quantity. Alright, so it's time to put my evidence binder together. I've been storing some things. Maybe I've been storing a little bit too much and not organizing enough, but, but I can do this. I can do this. I see two viable formats for collecting evidence for domain four. We have the paper evidence and we have a binder that you could use. I would suggest that the binder is broken down into sections for 4B, 4C, 4D, 4E, and 4F. Another option is to use the network and again setting up folders for 4B through 4F. Start collecting data and evidence now and periodically determine which of the components that you think that the evidence um, fits. It's all what makes you feel comfortable. For some people it is the um, binder system and for some it is the electronic version. I uploaded a website uh, that has all the domains 4B through 4F and I put in streaming video from YouTube embedded into the website because I thought that would be a, a good plan to show my sources of evidence, multiple sources of evidence, um, in a different way. The Summative Conference will allow you an opportunity to highlight some of the accomplishments that you've had this school year. It should be a reflective tool, a time to sit down with your supervisor and reflect upon all of the hard work that you have put into this process. For Domain 4B, Maintaining Accurate Records, I like to include a rubric of my students' work. I give the children this rubric um, prior to them completing the project so they know what the expectations are. Then um, before they hand the rubric back to me, they actually evaluate themselves and their project and then I go ahead and evaluate the project as well. In Domain 4, Professional Responsibilities, one of the components asked about collaboration and Jenny Pfaffenbach and I worked together very closely on collaboration. We both teach Global 10. We pooled our resources and ideas and came up with a project for newspapers. And the final thing was the parent communication where we both held a meeting to tell sophomore parents about what was on the exam and how best to study for it. So we're just chummy in global time. And my advice to you is don't be shy. This is your time to highlight everything that you've done that's been so great this year and to really shine and celebrate the things that you've done. As soon as I get my class list over the summer finalized, I like to send home a little welcome postcard, welcoming each child to my classroom. On the first day of school, I send home a parent communication with a questionnaire. It's to help me get to know their child better, their likes, their dislikes, their hobbies, their interests. These are just a few examples of what I do in my first grade classroom for communicating with families. We do a peer evaluation form at the end of our units in phys ed. We do this to hold our students accountable for um, what they have learned in phys ed throughout the unit. Peer assessment works on making the students more responsible and shows that they understand what is being taught. One of the ways that I grew professionally this year was to visit a colleague's classroom and have her visit mine and we shared materials and reflected on that experience. When I look at Domain 4, showing professionalism, I think about all the things that Chen teachers do on a daily basis on behalf of our English language learners. So many teachers are active in helping ESL students achieve success by doing things as simple as working with them outside of class or finding ways to help them acculturate and feel comfortable in their classrooms.